Hey guys, in this video I wanted to share with you another great source of carbide end mills and talk about some deep pocket machining that I did last week. So the end mills you're looking at here are a five pack that I picked up on eBay from a store called Rogue Systems Inc. I'm not sure if the company is actually called Rogue, but they are USA based and I found these guys through my buddy Chris, who I've mentioned on this channel numerous times, and I've had them saved in my eBay uh, sellers list and I've used them for four flute carbide, but this is the first time I've used them for three flute carbide and I thought since I'm so happy with uh, the performance I would share them with you. So what you're looking at here is a four inch overall length, three quarter inch length of cut, three flute high helix solid carbide end mill and I don't know if you can see the grind on that but it's just gorgeous. And I think these guys are based out of Oregon and if I remember correctly Chris told me that they actually make end mills for other companies to sell as their own, and then they operate this uh, small eBay store. Not a huge selection on their store, but the stuff they do have is really, really well priced, and in a lot of cases, you're gonna need to buy them in a pack like this. Um, this is how I've bought from them in the past. And so, uh, just to let you know, this five pack of uh, quarter inch end mills uh, were shipped to my door for, I think it was $55. And when I was trying to find a long reach quarter inch end mill, the cheapest stuff I could find on eBay was uh, in the 20 to $30 range per end mill. And I didn't need a five pack, uh, but for $55, I mean, that works out to about $10 per end mill and I just couldn't pass it up. Um, I can actually choke up on these quite a bit in my collet, so it's not that big of a deal. I don't need to run them uh, really, uh, with, with a lot of stick out. But uh, I did want to show you this pocket I machined and this is an inch and a quarter deep, which uh, means five times the diameter. And I actually had the tool sticking out a little more than that, about an inch and three quarter, which is seven times the diameter. And I needed a quarter inch to get that feature down there at the very bottom, but I actually machined the entire part uh, using this quarter inch end mill and just super happy with the performance. So in the description below, you'll find a link to the Rogue Systems Inc. store where you can take a look at their supply of end mills. And then there's also a link to my buddy Chris's channel. I would appreciate it if you'll go over and uh, watch some of his videos and give him some thumbs up. Uh, he helps me a lot with my channel and uh, he's the one that found these fantastic rogue end mills. Also, if you're interested in Linux CNC at all, uh, Chris is doing some really interesting stuff with a touchscreen UI that has a lot of built-in macros, tool changes, all kinds of cool features. So uh, that's also really interesting. Uh, lastly, there's gonna be a link for the mist system that I'm using on the mill. And I know I've mentioned this in a previous video and share the link before. But uh, so far I'm really happy with this. And I said that I was gonna pick up a second one, but I haven't yet. And after doing this deep pocket, I'm definitely gonna be picking up a second one. So let me go ahead and, uh, oh, before I roll the footage, uh, I'm not being uh, sponsored by these guys. I'm just happy to pass on a great tool for a great price. I'm also uh, not giving you an affiliate link for the Mist system that I picked up on Amazon. I, I don't make any money off of any of this. Anyway, let's hop over to the mill and we'll start up this footage. You can see that right away it's raising a burr and that's my fault because I started the program <laughs> and then turned on the mist system. So it started cutting uh, aggressively uh, without mist and it raised that little bit of a burr but you saw it went away pretty quick as well. And the things that I wanna mention here are at the beginning of the video I'm running at 30 PSI at my air compressor. And I've got the coolant turned to the point where I can still see the mist coming out, but you'll notice uh, as the video goes on that the chips are just kind of packing up around the edge of the part. And I think that's because I'm not using enough air and I'm using too much coolant, and so the chips are overly wet and they're not really blowing away. Towards the end of the video, I double the pressure up to 60 PSI at the air compressor, and I've got the coolant turned down to such a small degree that I actually can't see the mist. I can only tell the coolant's coming out because the little beads that are forming around the edge of the part. So you're gonna see that here in, in a couple of minutes. So it seems like what you want uh, when you're running mist system is the maximum amount of air and the minimum amount of coolant. But again, I think having a second line coming in from the other direction uh, would really make a big difference. And maybe I can just put a T on this and split this one off. Uh, now nah, I'll probably just buy a second one. Anyway, uh, go ahead and uh, check out the rest of the footage. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.